Hi, ladies. How are you doing Hi. today? Greetings from Toronto, Hi. Canada. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Greetings from LA. Good to see you both. I am obsessed with this show. I have finished season two. I love yeah. this show so much. And Sonia, I want to start with you because, um, you know, look, I, the female representation in this, the alternate history, I mean, is this role a gift from God or what? <laughs> I'm really glad you see it that way too. I, I, I just adore her. I've adored Molly from the minute I met her. I love playing her. It gets she gets more and more challenging every season. <laughs> yes. Uh, there's only more challenges ahead. Uh, yeah, it's it's she's wonderful. It's it's really really wonderful to play someone this empowered and this self determined and who has been from the minute we met her. That that's been. Um, there's nothing emerging about Molly particularly. <laughs> she's, yeah. she's she's pretty fully formed from the minute you meet her. She sure is. And Jody, for you um, to play Ellen and to see where this character goes from season one to season two, I don't want to give away too much, but um, you know, her strength, but yet very vulnerable. She's got some personal things that she's dealing with that she can't, you know, it, it just the way of the time. What's it, what's it like to play a woman like this? I mean, it's incredible. Similarly, I, I find the, um, the many dimensions of her such a gift um you know as you said there's there's this quite a large transformation certainly from season one to the end of season two but even within season two for this woman really like coming into her own there's a political awakening at play there's a real like standing in her power that's mm -hmm. happening publicly and yet at the same time privately there's continual inner turmoil and self-sacrifice and as you said vulnerability and so to play with both those things simultaneously is, is such fun. Yeah, I can imagine. Now, um, Sonia, I, you know, I, I don't think there's a person in the entire universe who wouldn't want to put on a spacesuit. I mean, come on, like, <laughs> like both of you, honestly, what was it like to get into that spacesuit, to get yourself in character like that, and then also do wire work? And I mean, come on. <laughs> you listen, it sounds good. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that after a 14 hour day of wearing a spacesuit, the the joy wears off somewhat. <laughs> uh, no, the suits, the suits are amazing because they immediately put you in character. You're immediately, um, you're immediately in physical, peril is too strong a word. You are physically compromised in a way that you have to consider every move. You don't make unnecessary moves. I put that suit on and I feel like I go into you know how computers go into power save mode? That's yeah. exactly the mode I go into when I put that suit on. You can't spare the energy. You can't make small talk. There's no there's no room for extraneous movement. I know where my water bottle is. I take that, I put it down, I sip. You have a uh, usually some sort of ledge that you can lean against because there's yeah. no sitting really in the suit. So, all of that is is really really interesting to be in to be in power save so that you have it for the close up so that you have it to scale the you know 30 foot styrofoam crater that you're <laughs> scaling um it's amazing I, I mean i had more than one time you know where i was really really tired and fed up and sweating and <laughs> hating the suit having a whole relationship <laughs> with the suit yeah. and and i was you know suspended at one point in season one, it's almost 60 feet up at the top of the lot and looking down at this entire film crew below me and these lights. And it was me alone on camera and just thinking, oh. as you said, Ronnie, this is a gift. What an absolute gift. I could be hunched over a notepad asking what the cause of death was. I could be standing behind a dock pretending to be a lawyer in a pencil skirt. And instead I'm swinging at the top of a crater <laughs> Yeah, in a spacesuit, it's yeah. phenomenal, and I'm not even doing a movie. I'm doing yeah. TV. Like it's, it's extraordinary. It's absolutely yeah. extraordinary. And at this point in my career, yeah, to be doing that is yeah. is um, I'm deeply, deeply grateful for the yeah. opportunity to to do this. I'm sure. And Jody, same for you. I'm sure. Very quickly, I have to wrap, but just you know, this gives me uh, hope for female roles for women in the future. Like. Really, like I said earlier, a gift. It's amazing. 
Big time. Yeah, you know, I know we've gained a lot of ground there in the last few years in Hollywood, but certainly our show is an example of what's possible. We have season two, we have eight women yeah. in leading roles telling fundamental stories in yeah. this in this grand narrative. And that's not lost on any of us. Um, we feel really lucky. And yeah, hopefully it just proves that there's an appetite for it, an increasing mm -hmm. appetite for it. For sure. Well, congratulations. So I'm honored to talk to you both today. I love the show so, so much. And Sonia, just quickly, I was a huge losty too. Never, oh, never missed an episode of that. You know. Oh <laughs> my God. It's almost a decade, a decade that it's, it's off. Tell me about it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Congratulations, ladies. Best Thank of luck. I can't wait for season three. Take care. Thank you. Take care, Winnie. <laughs> okay. Bye-bye.